uh, chemo induced peripheral neuropathy now for three and a half years at the Medical University of South Carolina. And what we found is, is that massage therapy in heavy doses, 12 treatments over five weeks, has incredibly reduced and eliminated a lot of the signs and symptoms of chemo induced peripheral neuropathy. And we also find that, that due to the cold nature of their feet and lack of blood flow, that it's causing a hypoxia and damage to the nerves. So with the manual manipulation of blood into the feet, we've shown that it can reduce the pains, the numbness, the tingling. And at the same time, we're trying to document uh, through objective measurements that, that this uh, hypothesis of the lack of blood flow could be the reason. We're using monofilament tests and vibration sensitivity tests as well as uh, subjective questionnaires to the patients. Let me ask you, um, here we have a picture of the foot, but doesn't this work extend to the arms and the hands, as well as the legs and feet, as all the extremities? Correct, all the, all the periphery nerves are affected by chemo and peripheral neuropathy. So we, we, for scientific reasons, we've been keying in on working on the, the feet, and we're working from uh, two therapists at a time for 15 minutes from the knees, to the toes, and through that work, we're, we're also, uh, with the scientists, taking measurements, and we're gathering up information to, that this would work for the hands as well mm -hmm. as cool. the feet. And it can also roll over into a very uh, difficult problem because it's very similar to diabetics, which is a major problem, not only across this country, but across the world. So they've got problems as well, and feeling things with their hands and their feet. And feeling, burning, numbness, tingling, uh, things that make buttoning, buttoning your shirt near impossible, pains that make every step you take in your life is pain for them. And in the results that they have right now, what, they use, what they're using is heavy drugs, and then if that takes away the pain from their feet, but clouds their minds. So we have a therapy here that can actually reduce and eliminate all these pains uh, during, chemo, uh, during and post chemotherapy, as well as give them the opportunity to continue and finish their chemotherapy treatments and not have to be interrupted because of CIPM. So I think I think one of the key points you just mentioned was that the drugs interfere with their mental capacity so they can't work. Correct. That's why this is so critical is Absolutely. that these patients will actually drop the chemotherapy treatments because they cannot stop working. And that's one of the critical uh, issues yes. you're trying to address is keep these people fully functioning. Yes, keep them fully functioning while, while they're taking chemo and, and after chemo, once they beat cancer, they can live their lives normally. Yeah. And this is, you know, and there, like I mentioned, there, there is no treatments out there. There are no, there are no drugs that help this specifically. So, but, you know, what, what we're doing here is trying to, through rigorous, you know, scientific evidence, give an evidence-based uh, uh, proof that this is working, and we're doing that. We just need to do this work and then take it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. And the next level will be. Um, we're currently treating how many patients with this uh, feasibility? Uh, Fifteen patients 15 total. Fifteen patients. Yes, we're on thirteen now. We have two left to, to three to finish, and then two after that well, should be done with this step, and that should be uh, by the end of July. Okay. Um, just a quick, what is that vision moving forward? What's the next step? Uh, take this to a clinical uh, yes. process? Well, what we'd like to do in order to, to move it forward and also replicate it is to take it to, to multi-institutional uh, research. You know, take it to different uh, cancer centers of, you know, in California, in, in Colorado, Michigan, some major centers in, in the Northeast, and all do the, the same uh, protocol treatment and try to reproduce the, the, the techniques as well as get the same results. And that leads towards you know, uh, you know, evidence-based proof that this is working and then we can get insurance to pay for it so everybody can get this treatment that, that so many people in the hundreds of thousands if not millions that they need. And it's, this research is, will directly relate to people, people's lives, not only keeping their lives during chemotherapy but their daily lives on a lot of different levels. And this is important now. Yeah. And to, to the people who are suffering with horrific pain, you know, this can help them now. And we need to get it out there. So that's what we're working for. That's why we put so much time and effort into it. Well, I think you did the right thing, and that is uh, helping these people who don't have chemicals or other meds to help them. We can do it physically. Absolutely. And, and we need help from like, great people like you and the Massage Therapy Foundation to help us 
do this work, and without it, we can't get it done. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Bye.